The needle holder is the instrument used for placing sutures. Actually, the needle holder can also be called a needle driver. It holds the needle and pushes or drives the needle with the attached suture through the tissues. The needle holder is held in the palm between the thumb and fourth finger in the holes of the handle. The second finger, or index finger, is utilized to stabilize the direction of the needle holder's end. The third finger is placed against the ring with the fourth finger, and that's also used to stabilize the instrument. The needle, with its attached suture, is usually grasped in the jaws of the needle holder, so that approximately two-thirds of the needle is on the cutting side and one-third of the needle is on the suture side in the jaws of the needle holder. This allows for stabilization of the needle and helps prevent bending of the needle. Needle holders may have several varieties of jaws. The first are jaws with teeth. And these contain particles such as tungsten carbide and this allows for needle stability and prevents rotation or slipping of the needle while in the jaws of the needle holder. Second are smooth jaws without teeth. A smooth, fine-jawed needle holder can be used with fine needles. The needle holder can be used to tie and to knot sutures. Do not use a hemostat as a needle holder. Hemostat jaws are not designed to properly hold the needle and may in fact damage the needle. The needle must be placed perpendicular to the skin edge so that the needle holder can drive the needle with its attached suture through the tissues on the curved trajectory that follows the curve of the needle. This approach places the needle and the suture in a manner so that the edges of the wound are both approximated and everted when the knot is finally tied down.